using wine is chicken cacciatore. Um, I got the recipe from the Fanny Farmer cookbook and she called it cacciatore instead of cacciatore E. I don't know the difference why it ends in A or why it ends in E. Someone knows, let me know. I just thought it was interesting. So I have about eight chicken thighs here that are cut up and salt and pepper and I'm going to put them in a pan that I have a quarter of a cup of olive oil heating up in my pan back there. I bet you can hear it. And I'm going to brown the chicken on all sides. I'm adding pepper and salt to the top side of the chicken. The other side was seasoned when I put it into the pan. And that's to taste. Chicken is nicely browned. I've taken it out of the pan and I also poured off most of the fat and that's from the chicken and from the olive oil out. There's a little bit in here, just enough to cook the vegetables, so be sure you do that. So into the pan is going to be one large onion, finely, finely chopped. This is just a yellow onion. We're gonna cook these vegetables until the onion is translucent. This is one stalk of celery, wonderfully finely chopped. And two cloves of garlic, you know, I was thinking I could have added more, but add it to your taste. Definitely add one, but. So these are the vegetables. They're gonna go back on the stove top. I'm gonna to saute them until the onion's translucent. Then at that point, we will be adding the chicken back into the pan. The vegetables are sauteed. I'm gonna bring them forward from the stove top. The onions are nice and translucent and everything's cooked down and looks Beautiful. So now we're going to add in, let's see, we're going to add in our, we have one quarter teaspoon of sugar. There. This recipe called for something interesting. It called for a pinch of allspice or cinnamon. I chose allspice, um, kind of unusual. Uh, I think it's going to make a great flavor. So a pinch of that. And then the wine component is a quarter of a cup of sherry, and in that goes. Then I'm going to put the beautifully brown chicken back in, it's gorgeous, back in the pan. And then we are going to add three large chopped tomatoes, or you could use tomato juice. I thought the tomatoes would be much nicer. And then this is going to cook covered for about 45 to 60 minutes, you want your chicken very tender. Then we'll mix everything together. But oh, I can smell the sherry, it smells really nice. So let me just give this a little mix. Get everything all yummy in there. Oh, it looks delicious, I wish I could eat it now. In go the tomatoes. So this will make the sauce, the tomatoes will break down and this is an easy meal. I think it would work any time of year, really. Yep. One run away, come back. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this together and then I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna cook it on the stove top for 45 to 60 minutes until the chicken is tender, tender, tender. This is the final platter of chicken cacciatore. Look how beautiful it looks. It's just delicious. The sauce came well. Um, it looks great. I garnished it with some basil from the garden. I'm going to serve it with some wonderful homemade bread with a little sea salt on it and of course with a glass of wine. You might want to also serve this with some rice or noodles on the side but I think this is just perfect as it is. Please try it. You'll love it.